This episode of Two on the Isle is a tribute to the versatility of Doug Wright. He wrote the book not only for Grey Gardens, about which Bob has already spoken, but also for Disney's The Little Mermaid, based on the 1989 animated film. If that's not a contrast, I don't know what is. The appeal of The Little Mermaid has grown on me over repeated viewings. That doesn't always happen. Wright's book has wit for adults within a story kids can relate to. The show has a great score, too, with songs from the film by composer Alan Menken and lyricist Howard Ashman, and additional songs by Menken and Glenn Slater. The current production by Family Musical Theater is a showcase for how much this company can achieve with limited resources. Director Kevin Jones and choreographer Bethany Hamilton make fine use of all the space available on the stage of the Ivory Theater. The adults and children in the large cast always move with purpose and assurance, and they do so without a lot of room backstage for marshalling forces. Jones' scenic design and John Joss's lighting and video offer impressive flexibility for scenes below and above water, and the luxury of royal courts in both places are reflected in Jones's costume designs. I love the way hoodies have been adapted as costumes for fish. The cast is headed by a pair of young actors with appealing voices and personalities and great chemistry together. Amanda Coker is strikingly expressive in the scenes in which the mermaid Ariel has lost her voice. Gabriel Beckerly is a model of princely virtue as Prince Eric. Dennis Fawarsny is the essence of majesty as King Triton, while his sister, Ursula the Sea Witch, is played with just the right blend of humor and menace by Nicole Collett. Ariel's undersea friends are a winning crew in performances by John Joust as Sebastian, Kira Everett as Flounder, and Travis Pfeiffer as Scuttle. The prince's attendants are admirably played by James Browning as Grimsby, David Sublet as Chef Louis, and Sarah Page as Carlotta. Ursula's minions were made apparent, appropriately sinister by Jody Shutt as Flotsam and Aaron Williams as Jetsam. The charming princesses above and below water are Carrie Priestmeyer, Marley Wenske, Mary Heil, Vanessa Simpson, Caitlin Gant, and Lauren Workmeister. The production is a pleasure to listen to thanks to the orchestra under Jones's musical direction and Larry Joe's sound design. I was confused in the, by the crab chase in the kitchen, but the crab didn't get steamed, and neither did I. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it was ni uh, nicely done. Very colorful and very well performed. And uh, let's hear some of that music. Hey, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and check us out on Facebook. The link is below.